Welcome to the Florida Keys. We're in the Florida Keys for a couple days to explore, get some sunshine. As you can see, it's much warmer than some places we've been on this trip so far. And also to explore the water. I think the best way to probably see the Keys is by water. So we've booked a couple tours. We are going snorkeling today. And then in a couple days, we are gonna go on a fishing tour as well. So hopefully we'll get to see lots of the Florida Keys. We're starting in Key Largo, and then we're gonna move our way to Key West as our final destination. So. We hope you guys enjoy, I'll try and show you the best of the keys and how our experience goes. So we just made it here, we, uh, we just checked in and now we're about to head down to where the boat is. So it's a couple miles down the road. Good thing we just finished putting up all of our curtains in the van to make an attempt to keep the van cool. horrible at this. We've done this before for tours and we're like sitting in the parking lot waiting and then the person's like no it's like a 45 minute drive down the road and we're like oh my god so, so we right. clearly don't do our research. I look like a little life card. <laughs> kind of do the red. And then I got the bikini. Life card Becky. Keep them Not safe. saving lives. <laughs> All right. Well, we're here. We are at the location where we need to give our ticket. ticket to get on the boat. So, let's go see what happens. So we just got back from the Sundiver snorkeling expedition that we just went down to the ocean for. Are you okay? <laughs> Maybe I swallowed some seawater. We really are in the open ocean when we were just there. There were three or four other sailboats there as well. Uh, a couple other tours. So from my understanding, that's a fairly popular spot. It's just outside the John Pennekamp State Park borders uh, with it, I think, being about three or four miles offshore. We saw several different types of fish. I believe we even saw some barracuda. We did see a shark, however, we didn't capture that one on film. Why didn't we capture the shark on film? Because nobody wanted to swim back over to the shark to film it. <laughs> I saw the shark, I didn't have the GoPro at the time, and I quickly swam away from the shark because I just didn't need to be around it. Anyway, let's make some lunch. We're having a very simple lunch. We just have some leftover rice from, what do we have, burritos. And then some pre-cooked sausage that we got at the grocery store and some carrots. Nothing fancy. I feel like the funny thing about van life is like, everybody always has like really nice, clean vans when they show photos of it. But like ours never looks like that. Like there's always stuff everywhere. We have to like move it in order to get on the bed except where we like kind of store stuff while we drive. It's just funny. It's one of those things that like you saw when you follow people who did van life and then you started doing van life. And uh, it's not like that all the time. Sometimes it is. But I'll show you what our van looks like right now. So for example, that's a cushion that goes on top of our fridge which we have to move every time we want to open our fridge. Maybe that's a design flaw, but oh, your feet are in it. And then there's backpacks and clothes that don't get put away, helmets, sleepy babies. <laughs> there's a tripod on the ground. There's all this stuff. It's just different, you know?
very much for lunch. There's a ton of like cats around here. And this guy came over meowing. So we gave him some water and he has not stopped drinking it. So now I feel bad. Hi. Nick said it was a new man kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I like animals. We're not getting a cat on the road. <laughs> We've got headlamps on because we just did our dishes outside. Anyway, Katie's still drinking the water. Hi, Kitty. I don't have any food. <laughs>